Lisa. I hope you're doing well today. Welcome back to my channel. Well, tonight I'm looking for an easy, easy dinner, and uh, we're going to have a chicken enchilada taquitos, and uh, I'm going to combine it. Actually, it's two recipes I'm going to combine. The other one is chicken enchilada quesadillas, and this, I got these ideas from the uh, website Joe Cooks. I really like her blog, but um, I'm going to combine some vegetables into the taquitos like she does in the quesadillas. And they're going to be very cheesy because we like cheese and spicy. So the first thing I'm going to do is take my chicken and you have to have a cooked chicken for both recipes. I'm going to throw it in the Instant Pot and uh, I'll show you that stuff. I'm only going to use two chicken breasts. These are organic chicken breasts. I'm going to add just a little bit of salt on the top of them. Um, a little bit of pepper. Um, you don't have to cook these long. You can also do this on top of the stove for about 15 minutes and poach them and they, they come out. I have these onions that I need to use up, so I'm just going to throw them in here and give it some flavor. I probably I might add some more raw ones to the... I don't know what I'm doing yet. I'll let you know. <laughs> really. And I'm going to add a little bit of garlic. And actually, Ella peeled this garlic for me, but she didn't chop it. So I'm just going to add a couple of cloves to give it some flavor. And I'm going to add a little bit of chicken stock. And you probably only need about... Because I'm not going to really, really use this again. This, so I'm only going to use about a cup and a half. I think that's enough. We'll find out. The... You have to have some liquid in the instant pot, but I'm just going to put my lid on. And while these are cooking, we'll get the other ingredients ready. Put it on sealing. And I think I'm going to press poultry, and it's on for 13 minutes, and that sounds good to me. 13 minutes. So I release my instant pot. It was... They didn't have much pressure left in it. I'm going to take out the uh, chicken. it opens right away and uh, I'm gonna pull this out and let it cool just a little bit and dry out just a little bit and we're gonna shred it and I'll tell you what it smells really good the garlic and the onions so we're gonna leave that right here see it's it's tender. You can just shred it with the tongs. It's going to be just perfect. So we'll get back to that in just a second. I'm just going to cook a little bit of onions and garlic to give my, into, you know, my taquitos a little bit more flavor. Let's see. Sorry I'm reaching in front. I don't have my stuff in the right area. But I have a little, little half of a red onion. I'm just going to put that in here and let this cook until it gets a little caramelized. It's going to be good. And then I'm going to add some garlic. But first we're just going to start with just some simple onions. Let me cook these down a little bit and uh, we'll go to the onions. onions have turned a pretty color. It's cooked enough for me. So I'm going to add just a little bit of garlic. Or a lot. I don't know, that's about two cloves, I guess. And I'm gonna add some pepper. I'm gonna use canned enchilada sauce. I find there is, it's, it's okay. It's uh, not my favorite. I'm gonna throw my chicken in here because I wanna cover it with a little bit of the sauce. Let me rinse my hand. I actually like it with a bit of towel. So I'm just gonna stir this around just a little bit. I don't want to dry it out. And I think I'm going to add a little bit of corn. This is a sweet corn. I'm just going to add just about, I don't know how much it is, about half a cup. Because I want these to be small. I don't want to add too much to them. And I am going to add just a tiny bit of spice to this. I'm going to add a touch of chili powder. <clears throat> Excuse me. Just for a little extra flavor. 
And then I think I'm going to add just a little bit of smoked paprika. Um, just for a little extra flavor. And I think that's about it. So, the oat is spilled. I do not like when I spill on my stove. Now I'm going to add the initial of sauce. I just want it to get wet. I don't want it to get runny. Just, I want to moisten the uh, chicken a little. And if you wanted to, you could always make enchiladas and pour the rest of the sauce on top. One more a little bit. So that's about half of the can. And I think that's, I'm going to let this cool for a little bit and we'll start rolling them up. I think that's all I'm going to do. It's pretty simple. I'm just going to pour this into this bowl to let it cool off a little bit and get it out of this warm pan. You could add black beans to this, olives, whatever you want. You could add, I'm going to add cheese, but I'm going to put it on top of the chicken when I, before I roll it up. And they're going to be baked, so uh, they're better for you. So there's our mixture. And uh, I'm going to save the rest of my enchilada sauce for another recipe. But I'll roll in a, a couple of uh, taquitos, is what you, I call them. Just put a little bit of your meat mixture. And I really want to learn how to make my own enchilada sauce. That enchilada sauce is okay. It's It needs something, though. I, I feel like I need something tangy to go with this, but hopefully the cheese. And I'm going to make a sauce to dip these in. It's going to be delicious after that. But you're going to roll these up. It's kind of tight. And you want them to try to stay like so. It probably would be smarter for me to do this in a 13 by 9 pan, but I'm just doing it oh, in this pan instead. Just have patience and work with it. That's what I have to tell myself. Just have patience. And I'm, that, I'm not going to use all of this filling. I would prefer beans in mine, but Ella doesn't want any beans. But I really like the uh, black beans. So I'm just going to roll it up. So that's basically it. I'm just going to roll these, make a couple of more, and then we're going to brush them with uh, some kind of oil or butter. I pack came mm -hmm. with six tortillas. I love those organic ones. It's my favorite. I'm going to take my olive oil spray right here. I'm just going to spray these all over because I want them to get a little crispy. And I have a little bit of cheese left, so I'm just gonna, going to, everything's cooked, so you really want to just toast your tortillas. Uh, I thought of something that next time if I make this, I will change, instead of the enchilada sauce, I'm going to use uh, salsa mixed with my chicken. We have a really good salsa here from one of my favorite restaurants. They also sell their salsa in stores, and it's delicious. But I should I what should I added some of that? But these, these are going to be good. I'm going to put a lot of cheese in them. So I'm going to put these in the oven. My bread's baking in there, so I'm just going to throw these in there with them, and I'll let you know. Hey, how here's them. the the uh, taquitos. And they're they're see they're crispy. They just didn't turn that brown. They leaked a little bit, but now I'm going to make a little dip. A little sauce kind of to throw on top of them with some lettuce and I'll show you how we I'm make just gonna that. mix a couple of ingredients together this is a uh, mild guacamole I, I love this brand I get it from uh, Walmart it, this is delicious I don't think I could make it better than this actually we, we we like this brand a lot I can show you the box they make a spicy one too I'm trying to get it all out and now I'm going to add a little bit of sour cream. Like that. Sorry. And we'll just mix this. And we're going to add a couple more things. So this is the uh, alcohol I was telling you about. Okay, we're, we're basically going to add... Okay, these are some pickled jalapenos that we chopped up, and we like those. We love those jalapenos. They're, 
I'm gonna add a little bit of buttermilk. I'm basically making that that sauce I have a video on. But since we already have the uh, guacamole in there, I'm only gonna add just a little tiny bit of ranch for extra flavor. Not much. And I may add some salsa separately. But we're gonna try it this way. And then we'll let you know a little bit more flavors. I'm gonna add a can of these green chilies. They're really good. I'm just gonna add the whole thing, the whole thing. And we'll save this. We can eat this with Tostitos or you know, I might add a little bit more ranch. Let's see how this tastes. Okay, and we'll see. You. Oh, that's perfect. Okay, and we'll see you in a little it's, bit. Uh, Costa Manana. It, I think it's only in our area, but oh, oh, it is so good. So I'm just gonna drizzle just a little bit of that on top as well like this and then I think we need more cheese Ella yeah. we're gonna decorate it so we can take a picture okay look it's steaming it's still really hot so I'm just gonna take a small bite I definitely want some sauce to me that makes the dish mmm That's really good. And it was so easy. I think I forgot to mention, sorry, I'm talking about food in my mouth. The cheeses that we used, I didn't tell you, but we used um, Monterey Jack and sharp cheddar and we grated it ourselves. I could eat just the lettuce with the sauce on it. It's we, That sauce is that good. So these are really good. Okay. I'm sorry, I'm not with it today I'm not feeling as good as I usually do but I wanted to do a video for you and I uh, hope you enjoy it I hope you try this recipe and you can adjust it any way you like and thank you for watching please subscribe come back tomorrow for the next video and uh, I'll see you next time bye mm -hmm.